In Five Nights at Freddy's Security Breach, when exploring the underground endoskeleton maze, you can come across these false walls that seem to act as instructions for the endoskeletons, telling them what to do and what not to do. A couple of these instructions appear to be reversed, telling the endoskeletons to do the wrong thing instead of the right thing. It appears that this has been done by Vanny, and this might be why the endoskeletons are so aggressive towards the player. It seems like this underground section of the facility is kind of to train the animatronics what to do and what not to do, how to act and how not to act. But what I'm here to talk about is one wall that appears to have a lot of lore significance with it. Not a lot of people have actually noticed it, and I've even shown this to some people and they haven't noticed it either. It's not exactly a blink and you'll miss it type of easter egg, but if you don't pay attention, it is very possible to miss it. When coming upon the security office with all the endoskeletons inside of it, the door has artwork very similar to the other false walls, except this one shows an endoskeleton standing with a couple of children near him. One thing to note is that spray painted around the endoskeleton is two things. Above the endoskeleton is a pair of rabbit ears, and besides the endoskeleton is Glitchtrap, a little painting of Glitchtrap doing his waving from Help Wanted. Right away you can probably draw a couple of conclusions. We most likely play as Vanessa in Help Wanted, and Glitchtrap definitely has some kind of influence on the animatronics in Security Breach. However, I don't think this is all it's trying to show, mainly because of the rabbit ears on top of the endoskeleton. To me, I believe this is trying to show that Burn Trap is actually an endoskeleton, or a Glamrock endoskeleton, kind of remade to look like Springtrap. Now obviously I don't think it's fully a Glamrock endoskeleton, because Glamrock endoskeletons don't have five fingers, they don't have certain details that Burn Trap does have. So I think Burn Trap could probably be an endoskeleton, or two endoskeletons kind of made into one, a Glamrock endoskeleton and a Springlock endoskeleton, kind of rebuilt, and then this is basically what Burn Trap is. And then of course Burn Trap is controlled by Glitch Trap, and if you don't remember, Glitch Trap is basically a digital consciousness of William Afton. It's hinted in Five Nights at Freddy's Help Wanted and Five Nights at Freddy's AR that Glitchtrap basically came into fruition by Fazbear Entertainment scanning the circuit boards of Springtrap, creating a digital double of William Afton. Not William Afton himself, but a digital version. Are you having fun yet? That's great to hear. We went to great lengths to create an authentic VR experience, including using scanned photographs for reference and using original performance routines where applicable. Using proprietary technology developed by Fazbear Entertainment, our VR development teams were able to use vintage control boards almost like plug and play, digitally recreating performances and personalities from the past in an instant. And we can see this through how Burn Trap is able to control Glamrock Freddy through a TV. So this isn't the real William Afton or the real Springtrap coming back. It's just Glitchtrap controlling a replica of Springtrap. After all, I don't really think you can grow an extra arm anyways. Or escape hell. So to conclude this observation, it's most likely that Burn Trap is just a modified Glamrock endoskeleton mixed with a modified Springlock endoskeleton, most likely built by Vanny. If you're wondering what the skull and flesh on Burn Trap might be, it could be from one of Vanessa's therapists. One of the logs does state one of the therapists was murdered, and it appears their body was mutilated by metal. Although there was no detail of them being decapitated, it's definitely an interesting detail that their body was specifically mutilated by metal. Apparently, I'm the fourth therapist you've had. And apparently, all three of your former therapists have gone missing. Or, two of them are missing. I don't want to scare you, but I have to tell you that one of them was found dead. That doesn't seem to upset you. Well, then I guess I'll go ahead and tell you that the woman's body was pretty messed up. It looked like it was mangled by machinery. That doesn't bother you either? Hmm. It's all pretty strange, I think. I'm not clear on the circumstances. Apparently the police don't have any evidence. 
Anyways, that's all for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. Have a great day, night, or heat death of the universe, depending on what time you're watching, and goodbye.